and sisters, I have something I would like to share with y'all. Um, tonight I asked the Lord, how soon would it be till his return? And I was led to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. And I didn't know the scripture was here, so I didn't look it up. Usually when there's a scripture that I know, I highlight it. And I didn't have this one highlighted. And um, I just want to share it with y'all. It says, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And that's what I was um, led to read. And I wanted to share that with y'all. And also, um, the other night I had a dream. And there was something bad major going on all around us. And and I was hiding in a, ca in a cafeteria. with, And there was a lot of people around me. And this elderly lady, um, she was very beautiful. She came up to me and she says, um, do not be afraid for the day of the Lord is at hand. And Jesus will return. Jesus is returning soon. And um, but it was something like that. And, um, and, and the, whole, the whole message of the dream was Jesus is coming soon. And I just thought I'd share that with y'all. And uh, I love you all. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Hello, brothers and sisters. Well, I just wanted to add this. Um, um, I was led to read chapter 13 of Isaiah tonight because I, I prayed and I was asking the Lord how long until his return. And I was led to read chapter 6, I mean, uh, chapter 13, verse 6. And then I realized that it's not just that. He wants me to look at the whole, the whole verse. And so, anyways, I wanted to share that with y'all. Because um, I forgot to add that in the other video I just uploaded. And I love you all, and God bless you. Bye-bye. Isaiah chapter 13. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Behold! I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. 
it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged.